On today's video, we're going to show you the newest community here in Oceanside, and we're starting right now. Hey everybody, David Kellman with eXp Realty here in San Diego, and today I'm gonna to show you the newest community here in North County and in Oceanside, which is my city that I live in. So Oceanside is a vibrant coastal community if you're not familiar with it. It's located in the heart of San Diego County, and it's known for its beautiful beaches, picturesque harbor, and the historic downtown that is becoming more and more popular as new uh, developments, new construction is coming into the city. It's being completely revitalized with new hotels, new restaurants, and lots of new things to do. So Oceanside is a popular destination for tourists and residents alike. So today though, we're gonna be looking at the newest community, which is by Truemark Builders and it is a community full of uh, two-story, three-story, and detached properties. What makes this a little bit unique is that there's just not a lot of new construction here in Oceanside anymore. The reality is that the land is basically all used up. You just don't have land to develop to turn into new construction properties. So this community is about 10 miles inland from the pier if you're looking at Oceanside on a map. And so you do end up not dealing with the uh, June gloom, the May gray as much as you do in other coastal communities here in Oceanside, which is a perk. It also gets a little bit warmer here in this part of Oceanside as opposed to being really, really close to the beach. And this development in Melrose Heights is actually right on the border of Vista and Oceanside. As I mentioned, this community features two story, three story and detached property houses. And the price range from these are anywhere from the upper 500s at this point of the filming of this video. And the detached single family properties are just right around a million dollars. They range from a three bedroom, to four bedroom, anywhere from about 1,500 square feet up to 28, 2,900 square feet. Now, one drawback of the detached properties is that the lots are very small. So if you don't mind being very close to your neighbors, uh, this could be a good option for you. The community features a lot of amenities. It's beautifully maintained. Uh, there's a park. Uh, there's barbecue areas, and so it's definitely a great area if that is something that interests you. All of these properties now feature open floor plans, so it's very modern uh, layouts for today's typical home buyer. Some of these properties even feature beautiful balconies that overlook Bonzel, uh, Guajome, uh, parts of Escondido, and you can even see Big Bear on some of the clear days. Now, the other cool thing about a lot of these properties, especially the detached properties, is that solar is included in the price of the home. So as energy costs have risen, a lot of homeowners have opted to get solar on their house. Now, with new construction, the solar is right included, built into the roof. So it's definitely a perk. Now the HOA fee is very nominal as of this time. It's right around $200, depending on the property, $200 a month uh, for the HOA that includes, again, the amenities within the community. 